Hello, this is Karelian. Welcome to episode 29 of my Let's Play, Dragon Age Origins as Karelian, a roguish champion who has come here to save the world. We're going to do some shopping first because there's some good shopping here, although I don't think I can afford it. You really killed all those abominations? I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? Totes. Um, really, I just want to sell you stuff I don't really want. I don't think there's much of, but let's just see. Now, so what do you have that's useful? Hmm. This is really great. If I had over 100 gold, I don't know if it's the best thing for over 100 gold in the game, though. This is amazing if you are a wizard. Okay. Uh, we're actually going to go and we're just going to give Liliana all the things. Have that. Flowers? For me? They smell lovely. And there's something so familiar about them. These, these were my mother's flowers. She would sprinkle the dry petals amongst her clothes. Oh, they smell just like her. Thank you so much. Well, that was good. A curiosity. I could see there. How are my other characters doing? Alice is there. Wynn Win loves me. She's like, you're amazing, dude. You're like the son I always wanted. Uh, Liliana, first, I think this bow's better than what you have. Yeah, I have a bow. That doesn't really matter. Okay. I don't think that matters for you. Dear of you. Thank you so much. Why, thank you so much. Why, thank you so much. Why, thank you so much. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you so much. Blue satin oh, shoes should be good. Thank you so um, much. I that's a wonderful thought. Wow, that got fifty. Now let's not give her the ugly boots. Okay. She now, wow. You're quite taken with each other, aren't you? Uh, you know about us? I've seen the way she looks at you, the familiarity with which you speak, how she always finds a way to place herself next to you. Uh, she's fun. I've noticed your blossoming relationship, and I wanted to ask you where you thought it was going. Leliana is a remarkable girl, sincere and guileless. And she has opened her heart to you. I would not like to see her hurt. Uh, we're just in one day at a time. You are a Grey Warden. You have responsibilities which supersede your personal desires. True. But I don't think it matters. Let me go with... Don't worry, I got this. Love is ultimately selfish. It demands that one be devoted to a single person who may fully occupy one's mind and heart to the exclusion of all else. A Grey Warden cannot afford to be selfish. You may be forced to make a choice between saving your love and saving everyone else. And then what would you do? Save everyone. Uh, I'm gonna go with you. We're only trying to save the world. You're obviously, you're being a little over the top here. Nothing is certain. Not in these times. You cannot take anything for granted. I want you to be aware of this. I'll consider it. I'm just trying to minimize the suffering that may come to either of you. I have given my advice. Do with it what you will. Okay. 
Well, I was intending to do the other one first. Now I don't know. Welcome back, friend. You I don't know. Had to learn that the circle is well on its way to recovery. Uh, can you save a possessed child? The child is possessed, but killing the demon would mean killing the. Unless you intend to enter the fade. Yes. Yes, it can be done with a group of mages. I shall gather what mages I can, and we shall leave promptly. A life is at stake. Cool. Okay, let's talk to her. I'm here for you. Um no, never mind. Yes. Uh I'm gonna go back to camp because I don't want to take this group back to Red Cliff. Liliana, I just wanted to give all the gifts to, and so now she has served her purpose. Um, let's go talk to Shell. Shell's fun. It speaks. Uh, I expect you to be different. Different. Different than what? Different than a statue? Different than a log? Should I talk in a monotone? Yes, Master, I exist to serve the Master. I shall kill for the Master and only for the Master. Perhaps it expected me to have a booming voice. Recite limericks. <laughs> I can recite limericks if it likes. Um. No need to get touchy. Well, nah, we'll go with the joke. Are they dirty limericks? Mostly, they involve slaughtering pigeons in creative and invasive manners. I have never met another golem. I have no idea what one might be like, or why I wouldn't be like them. Why? Has it met other golems? Did they not sound as I do? They actually didn't speak. We'll go with it's not bad. It's bad. <laughs> it thinks I hang on its every word, waiting for approval. I don't know what other golems might be like, but I am already superior by virtue of my free will. This is a good thing. Uh, I agree. Imagine the benefits. No need to eat or sleep or perform other... functions. Walk underwater, crush the heads of every opponent. The possibilities are limitless. Barring the occasional 30 years or so of paralysis, there's little to compare. Now stop talking so much. The wagging of its moist little tongue is distracting. Okay. Now oh, Shell likes me more. Hey, what's up, doggy? Uh, we'll pet him. I just think Mortis is could be a fun companion, but Shell's just so much better. And they really don't have good equipment for it. I'm going to bring Shell Indeed. and our wizards. I'm probably going to bring her into the Fade with me. So let's get to Castle Redcliff and see about saving people. Now we'll almost inevitably get hit somewhere. Yep, there we go. Question is, what are we hit with? Is it a fight? It is a fight. Okay. So, you've leveled. Okay, whatever. Everyone, go to town. Oh, it's a. What are these? Shrieks. Uh, drink a potion. Oh wow, drink a big potion. You... Heal everyone. You. 
do that. <laughs> now it's dead, and it won't be able to do anything else. It'd be nice to save some of these dudes. But I don't know if it's gonna happen. Okay, you heal. Okay. Drink a little potion. Okay. This is where Fireball would be really handy right about now. Die. Okay, that's dead. Go kill a Herlock. Okay, that one's dead. Oh, there was a good backstab as it stood up. Okay, we did not let all of them die. Take that. Grab the monies. Grab the monies. Yes. Our tribe fights for you, Warden. That's good. Oh, so they were elves. Hmm. For some reason I thought they were humans. So we're running into the different groups that support us. Going. Okay. <sighs> now I'm not actually ready to do the next part of this, I don't think. So before, oh, we're going to do this, but we may not do the healing of Baron, or the Arl, quite yet. How often do you run into sleeping creatures in this? I guess you can cast sleep on them. I was like, well, how often do you get sleeping creatures in this? That's kind of hard of. Uh, there you are. We have brought Lyrium and begun preparations for the ritual. We can start any time. Um... It truly depends on the manner of demon. It sounds like a spirit of greed and desire, one of the more powerful in the hierarchy. It will likely engage you in dialogue and tempt you with an offer. Avoid it. Making deals with demons never turns out well. Uh, so only one. I asked him what advice he had, so now we'll ask if only one person can go through. Yes. We haven't sufficient lyrium at present to send more than one mage into the Fade. Uh, let's do it. Very well. Who will go into the Fade? Um, Morgan is going. Then let us begin forthwith. Now the best would have probably been Irvin. Irving himself. I mean, he's a master wizard who held out temptation during the siege on the circle. He, you think, would be a great person to send in. Is that you, Connor? I can hear you. I'm coming. Okay, I don't know if you actually have to fight here. But if we do, she is one of the best for that. I don't understand. It's so cold. There's Arl Eamon. Is anyone out there? Hello! Blessed art thou. Now let's go talk to Arl Eamon. Oh, I can't. I've gone too far. Oh, well. Probably should have stopped and said, Yo, Arl, what's up? What's up at E? Where's Connor? Who are you? Are you the one that made father in? Tell 
Uh, I'm gonna be nice. Shoo! Run along and play, or whatever. No! You're here to hurt father. I know it. I won't let you. Okay. Well, apparently we are fighting, but it's only a white demon. Which means easy peasy. But not done yet. Apparently that was in the it's too easy category. I'm gonna let this spell recharge before we move on. <sighs> it's gonna make the ability to fight a bunch of these things much, much easier because we'll be able to be like, aha! Nope, that's not happening. Oh, whatever. Go on. Okay. I doubt our Eamon will see me. You're the one making father sick! Nope, no I'm not. Why do you keep hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? Are we gonna communicate with him? Enough of these games. Give me what I want. Trespasser! I will drive you out! No, you really won't. Oh, we got two this time. Hit her with that. Then we'll deal with this lesser. Rage demon. Cross me and you shall pay. Why did I not hit you with this? Okay. Hmm. I'll help him. You can't stop me. Oh, I can stop you. I can stop you. <sighs> Give my spell a chance to refresh because that spell is just really, really useful. Although we really don't need it, they're just white. So although the next one may be harder. But we can just bubble wrap until we can get the other one going too if we have to. Uh, I do have to be able to run around a pillar though. Okay, let's go talk to Connor again. Father Wonders seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? Uh, we're gonna reason with it. Why do you speak through illusions? Come, let us converse. No, it is time for you to go now. Do not persist, or things will go very badly for you. Okay. You do that there. And here. Okay, that is definitely bad. Um, let's bubble this one. I must try something else. I'm not sure why this one isn't fighting. My weapon is useless. I see. The pain. Okay. It overcomes me. Hmm. Well, that was kind of a painful encounter. But we took out another one. Let our energy fully come up because I don't know how long this will be when we get to this side. So be it. Okay. Looks like we've had a yellow demon. We do have the healing thing here. Very well. No more illusions. Now we meet face to face. 
You see my true form and stand in my domain. It is here I am most powerful. And yet I have no wish to engage your power, nor should you be so eager to engage mine. Perhaps we should converse instead? Um, we'll converse. I will not become an abomination no matter what you try. One soul I already possess. I do not need another. You need not fear me on that account. I wish only to talk. Do you take me for a fool? I know better than to bargain with your kind. Alas, that is sad. Very well then. If you wish a battle, you will have it. Let us see if your power matches your boldness, creature. Okay, are you alone? Okay, suck the life out of her. Grab the Lyrium. Oh, I thought we'd do more. Okay. Uh, while they're doing this, I'm going to go ahead and Drink a potion. Uh, bolter. As you wish. Let us end this. Cross me, and you shall pay. Very well. I shall do it. <laughs> Run while you can. Okay. We are there we go. We have killed the desire demon. Um, I'm gonna pause. Can Okay, so if it's not obvious, the game crashed. I um, had to cut a little bit because didn't feel like showing my main screen, and now we're here. So it is over. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for training once the war is over. It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things. Eamon has much to mourn and rebuild, should he recover. But at least he could be thankful that both his son and wife are safe. I owe you my deepest thanks. I had nearly... I can scarcely believe Connor is the boy he once was. There is still the matter of Jowan. His poisoning Eamon began this whole mess, yet he lives. I must decide what becomes of him. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? Mm. Why do you want my opinion? You spoke with him, have you not? You know what he has done better than I do, even. I think you should turn him over to the circle. Do you find him useful? I would not trust him, but I would not presume to tell my brother what to do. I like him released. released? 
Are you mad? Why would you do such a thing? I agree with Isolde. He is a Malefica. We cannot simply unleash him on the land and ignore his crimes. I assume Mr. Cole pick him up. Okay, fine. Well. I shall have the mage imprisoned again for now. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. Um... I'm gonna go with it's a legend, it may never be found. That is a possibility. But there is a reason it's still an option. I am not simply grasping at straws. My husband funded the research of a scholar in Deneram, a brother Genetivi. He has been studying the inscriptions on Andraste's birth rock. When Eamon fell ill, I sent the knights to speak to Genetivi. I hoped that he had finally discovered the location of the urn of sacred ashes itself. They were unable to locate Genetivi. In desperation, I sent more knights in search of the brother, or some clue of the urn's location. Mm. I'll see if I can find no it. One else can. Even if I wish to do it myself, I cannot abandon Redcliffe to its own devices. Perhaps you could seek out the brother's home in Denerim and see if any clues remain on his whereabouts. It is the only place to begin the search, I think. I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck. And may the maker go with you. Okay. So we have some levels up to take care of. You. Go with the uh, 231s. Uh. Get Hurl Rock. We'll do that one. You. We need to get your magic up so that you can get everything. Go ahead and grab that. Life ward. Now that one sounds really good, but I want that. We may grab life ward immediately after, but for now that is what we'll go with. Can I loot her room while she's standing there? Apparently not. Um, what about in here? Oh, Connor. How you doing? You. You're the one who saved me. Uh, it was actually Morgan. Then, I guess I owe her thanks. Father always said to remember to thank people who do nice things for you. I hope Father gets better soon. He will. Won't he? Oh, we're all in all that trouble if he doesn't, since I need him for the war. So let's go with a yes. Yes, he will. Okay. So. And I'm off. Oh, this must be that key I got. Commander's plate. Aemon shield. Oh, that would be. We're gonna have to give that to uh... Chevalier's mace. Uh, cool. The fox's bow. Gives you a chance to avoid missile attacks? That's kind of weird. Uh, well, we'll take that. Uh, silver frame still alive. Uh, real fast. You actually don't like me that much. A fine gift. You have my thanks. A so we're gonna give you. You have my thanks. Get you drunk a little. Interesting. Interesting. And a terrible notion. A terrible notion. Okay, well, whatever. She does not want Alistair's doll. 
<laughs> okay. So that makes her to there. Shell likes me way more than she does. We're just looting the castle. Who keeps a deep mushroom in their drawer? That makes right. it sound like you have just a really dirty house. Take all that. I mean, I'm like really, really dirty. What did you find in your drawer? Oh, I found a dirty mushroom. Just ignore me. I'm only running around grabbing everything. Uh. Cool, more arrows. Those sell for a lot of gold. I do like selling things for a lot of gold. Oh, that book I think was something. Going. That book was 50 experience on tranquils. Why would that be in here? Maybe some light reading by the mom? Seems odd. So, I think I'm gonna do the doors and dinner room last. Then after we do dinner room, we'll have to go kill, uh, save our Eamon and find the ashes. Um, and there are some side quests that we will do. Or we could go get the, um, could go get our keep now. There are some things to be said for that. I think the keep has some useful things and that we can, s some storage. So maybe we'll go, Maybe we'll go do the the warden keep. So the question is, if I'm doing the warden keep, do I want to bring Alistair? I'm not going to bring him to deal with that. We have Soldier's Peak, Ban Lauren's Lands, and Hunley, which we've already done. Mothering is gone. We could go back to Ostagar. Let's go do Soldier Peak. It'll be, I think it'll give us some cool stuff in theory. I don't know if it gives us anything really great. Not nearly as good as Hamlet, but here we are, Soldier's Peak. Make us breath. Look at the size of her. What a fortress! I told you the map would get us through the tunnels. Uh, we go with this one. How did you do that on your own? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. She's definitely impressive. It's teeming with history. Can't you feel it? So, I'll follow you about from a distance. This place has the stench of death. I expect there's trouble up ahead. There's trouble up ahead. You go first. Okay, um, I'm definitely grabbing that. You. Very well. Uh. Double the threatened powers. Okay. So this was the last warden keep in Ferelden. He doesn't seem to be staying behind. Fall back! Fall back already! Taking the peak will not be easy, my lord. I gave the wardens one chance to die with honor. Instead, they hole up like cowards. We follow the king's advice then. Starve them out. 
But the Peak has months of supplies. Then we wait. When they are too weak to lift their weapons, we will send them to their final judgment. What was that? Felt a bit woozy there. I'm not mad, am I? You saw it too. Um, I had a vision. How is that possible? This place truly is haunted. Uh, the veil is thin here. The council tower was that way too. Yeah, we we'll go with that one. The veil. Uh, we'll tell him why not. Demons, thank Andraste you came, Warden. <sighs> After you. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna be finding a bunch of stuff here. And it begins. The undead. Okay, shall you t Oh no, I'm all stunned. Go for the next one in line. Sneak attacking for over 30 is awesome. Go for this one. Next one in line. See, Shell just is so much better at keeping aggro than I think anyone else. Although, I actually think Shen probably comes in second. Maybe the dog. Alistair's like the worst. Because Alistair doesn't do enough damage. Shell hits hard, so they're like, oh, we have to pay attention to you. And you have multiple things. Alistair doesn't hit very hard. And so they're just like, oh, whatever. When I beat this game, it was as a fighter. I did great weapon, which is the best way to play a fighter in this. Okay, I need to go kill these. You need to die. Oh, something healed the skeleton. Oh, the, there's a wizard skeleton. Okay. So the Arlsmen were that side. These are the wardens that were here. Or at least some of them. Uh, now we have more coming. These are more the Arlen's men. Okay, come here. That could be why I was getting so smacked down. It wasn't just arrows, it was arrows with all the fixings. Oh, we found a warden master. Um, you. Do that to him. And I'm gonna stab him in the back while he's sucking damage. I don't know why he's using his crossbow when I was sitting there cutting him in half, but you know, makes life easier. Okay. There we go with that. Okay. We have an antique warden crossbow. Tier 5 crossbow. Rapid aim plus 1 damage. That's a lot of damage. I'll grab all of that. I fell down. Now you want to come back this way because we didn't finish looting and grabbing all of this. Go ahead and do a quick save. As we have fought a lot of duders, I don't necessarily want to fight a lot more. Uh, ancient history, got some experience out of that. 
That's been closed off. Okay. What do we got here? Nothing there. Uh, we have portcullis. And nothing over here. Okay. I was hoping for, you know, some treasure chests, something fun. Apparently those were not left randomly lying around. Okay. Um, oh, I should have ended this. Now, if we don't get immediately jumped, we're going to end the episode as we're at 40 minutes already. And then we will continue on next time. The men's morale is low. My spells are of no use in this matter, Commander. There is more to leading men than sorcery, Avernus. I will remind them that they're wardens. Men! I won't lie to you! The situation is grim! Our forces outnumbered, our bellies empty, and our hearts are sagging. But we are wardens! Darkspawn flee when they hear our horns! Archdemons die when they taste our blades! So are we to bend knee to a mere human despot? No! I, for one, will never give up! I, for one, will never surrender just to dance on Arlen's gallows! So I propose here and now, in these hallowed halls where generations of our brethren stood vigil against darkspawn and evil, that we send a message to that fat bastard! In this sacred place, Proud men, strong men, stood defiant, and would rather die than submit to tyranny. So brave, even when starving, and my great-great-grandmother stood with them. Hmm, King Arlen was a tyrant? Not much is known of King Arlen. The war of succession that followed his death, now that was a piece of work, lasted nearly a decade and almost burned Denerim and the palace to the ground. Loads of history was lost, but maybe there's answers to that inside. But I've gabbed enough. Lead on, my friend. Okay, so we're going to stop here. We'll continue to get little visions and history as we move through. But for now, like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it below. Otherwise, I will talk to you later. Adios.